Here we are again with another, another example here. We've got some blue flowers against this green background on the screen. So again, would you seriously want to paint round each and every petal in this flower, depending on the effect that you're trying to create on a layer mask? Um, I don't think so. So let's use our knowledge of channels. There's the red channel. There's the green. And look at the mask waiting for us there in the blue. Very easy. Copy the blue channel. We'll use our ever handy image adjustments levels. Remember, there's no need for a, an adjustment layer here. We make the whites white and the blacks black. And that should do us ready to use in just a second. And going back to our other example here, I'm going to copy the layer from the keyboard Control J. There's our layer copied, and let's presume again with our previous example we want to mix some black and white with colour. Um, obviously um, there are far more, um, a great many, should I say, uses for layer masks, but let's keep this uh, a nice simple example. I'm going to desaturate the colour, Control shift u There's our black and white, and let's imagine that we want to paint in the blue flowers again. We have the mask ready and waiting here. Control click to load the mask to the layers. The layers active. I'll load the layer mask while the uh, selection is active. The mask is actually the wrong way around. What's white should be black and vice versa. So never worry about that when you create a, a layer mask. That's perfectly fine. Just press Control I on the keyboard. Control I. And there you can see we've dropped the field, which was green, into uh, its desaturated color. So the black parts of this layer mask, I'm going to show you the mask by alt-clicking this area with the mouse. That lets us see the mask. The black areas of the mask are hiding. Don't forget, black conceals on a layer mask. So it's conceal, concealing this grayscale image from us, at least the leaf parts of the image, the parts on this mask which are black, and the white parts of the masks are revealing our grayscale image. To uh, look at the, uh, the image again, sorry, I'll alt-click this area once more, and you can see black conceals, white reveals. Don't forget that it's concealing or revealing certain parts of this image content here. Now there are a few small green bits um, showing up round the edges here. There are two things you could try to combat this. We can go to image adjustments levels once more and we can really try and choke the mask either or. And that's called, as I just said, choking the mask by really compressing um, the levels palette. And that's before, that's after. And as you can see, that's uh, really almost taken care of the trick. And we can also go to Filter, Other, and go to Minimum. Oops, wrong one, sorry. Filter, Other, Maximum, I should have said. And that will tend to shrink the mask by one or two pixels, uh, which will further conceal those slightly green edges from us. So a few extra tips with uh, cleaning, up, cleaning up the mask there. And so you can see, again, in our particular example, mixing black and white with blue. Now, sure, there's times uh, where you'll need to zoom into the image and do a little bit of touching up and painting by hand. And in that case, and in that situation, I'll demonstrate that in the next.